Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Ligeia. Alright, so we are kind of in between objectives right now. We're going to head into Vinna and check out one more thing. Um, turns out I've kind of been playing around a little bit off screen and have discovered... Um, well, this one I actually kind of already heard about, but I did discover one more thing to do with the camera stone. Remember, we picked that up a little while back. Um, I've actually went in here and emptied it and got a new one already. It can only hold five photos at a time. So, um, and we're going to actually end up using all five right here. So what we're going to do is head back down to the beach. Remember we won the swimsuit and the little disco contest back in Seoul? And um, it turns out now if we come down to the beach, we can take some different pictures. We've already taken one here before. But if we talk to the girl again this time, you can see whenever she takes pictures, Noah's going to be in the swimsuit. And we're actually going to get a series of five pictures here. So here's a close-up of her building the sand castle. And Gala doing something. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Her staring up a tree, okay. Playing in the water, and that pretty much, basically, you can really tell that looks exactly like Mount Rikaroa down there. And her, I guess, taking a nap. So there you go, that's pretty much it. That's really all the swimsuit does. I mean, it's not an equipable, equipable accessory or armor or anything like that. But there you go, our camera stone, of course, has broken again. So if you forgot where to buy those, they're up here by Pepe's old house. You can talk to this guy. He'll sell you a new one anytime it breaks. Um, I don't think he'll sell you a new one if you have, like, a full one or one that's not completely empty, but um, there you go. Okay, so that's, like I said, nothing really important to do in Vidna. Just kind of a little fun thing. Um, now we are going to take a little bit of time to actually head back home. Yes, we're going back to Rim Elm. Um, this is the one that I mentioned I actually found um, just kind of hanging around, you know, trying to think of people to talk to that might want their picture taken. So we are going to head back there right now. Uh, good old Rim Elm. It hasn't been too long since we've been here. We fought the bees here a little while back and got a few more scenes, so. Um, it's always good to be home, though. And I think we can also get a free heal here, so, you know, that always works. And we get the cool theme as well, so everything's a win. All right, and we are going to go into May's house. This is a, um, a pretty obvious one, so. Uh, and, of course, first she's going to um, thank us for bringing back her mother, kind of like she always did before. And if we talk to her a second time, Vaughn, you brought something unusual with you. Um, this is a camera stone. A camera stone? I've heard of those. So, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Is that so? <laughs> yeah. But um, you can actually take your picture here. Oh, as you could say, I wanted to take your picture. And... Ah, there we go. She's standing down there by the Genesis tree. That's kind of a neat place to take it, huh? <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, there you go. You can't take a picture of Maya or anything. She just says the same thing, talking about Songi and all that stuff, so... Alright, yep, all there is to do at Rim Elm, very, very small little things, but um, the Camera Stone is actually something that I had never played with before, um, before doing this playthrough, actually, so it's kind of cool, I think, to just go around and kind of see the different things, because I bet a lot of people probably haven't bothered, really, to play around with it. But... Okay, so now we are actually ready to advance. We're going to head back to Seoul, because that's pretty much... You know what? I, I don't think we had that station... Um, I think it's called Coal, like K-O-L. Um, if we have that, I might actually just use the Door of Wind and get there. Um, that would actually be a little bit quicker. I don't think you can use it from right here, though. I'll try, but... Um, okay, I guess we can. Um, okay, no, Caristo Station's the only one we've got, so I guess that doesn't register. Um, I'm pretty sure you do get that at some point, but I might just be imagining things. I don't know, it wouldn't be the first time for sure, but... <laughs> nope, get out of the way. All right, so now we're going to have quite a bit of a trek. Remember to get the soul. We kind of had to make a little spiral around the mountains. So we got a little bit of a walk to get out. We kind of have to go, you know, around this way. Um, but we're going to come up from... Okay, that is the Caristo Station. I guess I was thinking of something else. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but that's all right. Um, I might actually door of wind there because it would be quicker. Um, this place right here is Buma. This is where we're going to check out first. And then the guy mentioned if we head west, we would hit Usha's Research Tower. So that's what that's going to be. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and use the Door of Wind to at least get us partially there. Don't worry. You can buy more of these pretty much anywhere now, so it's no big deal if we keep using them all. Yeah, because when I saw Caristo Station, I thought that would mean, um, like, 
the one that's actually in... Okay, well, this is Caristo Kingdom. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. I just had a little brain lapse there, I guess. Uh, but anyway, this is actually going to put us a lot closer to our destination, so that's good. Uh, the enemies around here are just exactly the same things we saw before. So, if you're coming here after adventuring from Seoul, you really shouldn't have any trouble. They do have some annoying statuses, like uh, at this point you can get rot and you can also get toxic from the bees, so... Anyway, it looks like we have made it to our next destination, Buma. Place looks a little bit chilly. Kind of looks like a pier here, like maybe it used to just be water and not frozen over. So let's see what's going on here. Fawn, Gala, this is Buma. The Genesis tree must be here. I'll go check. I'm going to head to the Genesis tree. Yeah, if you remember, we heard um, in pretty much our first encounter with this place that this, um, this town did have three Genesis trees, and we said we needed to check it out. And you can see they're all three right here. And so is Kara. I know, your heart is frozen, just like this ice. I can tell, because my heart is buried here in the cold ice and snow, too. Yeah, we're definitely learning a lot more about her as this goes on. Looks like she's got some uh, love issues with Granis back in the, uh, in the bar there. Whoa! Vaughn! Gala! The Genesis tree! Come look at the Genesis tree! Oh, this is terrible! It's frozen stiff! It's frozen! Oh, man. Well, no! Yeah, I'm with Gala. That sucks. <laughs> Again, oh, no! Vaughn, the Genesis tree is frozen! It's covered in ice and snow! Tara! Tara! Everything will be alright, right? Won't the Genesis tree wake up? I never imagined that something like this would happen to the Genesis tree. We still have to try. We're going to focus all our energy. Come over here. Gala, let's give it a try. Ready, Vaughn? Let's go join them. Focus your thoughts. Visualize the healthy, revived Genesis tree. Concentrate. Harder. Harder. No, guess that didn't do it. It's no good. If we try any harder, we may damage the Genesis tree. No! No, we can't give up. We can't. I'll do it. I'll wake up the Genesis tree. Noah, stop acting like a child. Well, she kind of is a child. Oh, wait. That's it. A Rosero egg. This is a Genesis tree, so we should have a Rosero egg. Noah's right. Ozma, can we at least get a Rosero egg? Well, actually, it looks like there are no Rosero eggs here. It looks like all the Rosero eggs have been taken from every Genesis tree. Kara, she took them. She took the Rosero eggs. I'm sure of it because she had an egg. I see. It's possible. I don't know for sure, but it's possible. Can't we melt the ice? If we could, we could revive the Genesis tree. There's only one thing I can say for certain. And that is, dawdling around here isn't going to get us anywhere. Noah, fine. Let's look for other leads. Gala, you sure do talk big. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just you wait. I promise you that we'll figure out something.
Mm, now that sure is an interesting turn of events. We made it to Buma and found some Genesis trees, but unfortunately they were frozen and unable to be revived. So I guess we're going to have to sort of uh, search elsewhere for the time being. Maybe we can figure out something to thaw the place, but... For now, there's not really much else we can do, so we're just pretty much going to continue on our path here. We do need to be heading west. And this is where Dr. Usha's laboratory should be. Remember, we did see it on the map, too, so there you go. It's not too long of a walk. We're pretty much almost there. Thankfully, most of the stuff on this place is um, relatively close together, anyway. Okay, before we head actually into the research laboratory, we need to be fixed up a bit. The battles are relatively easy, but that's not to say you won't take at least some damage. So, there you go. Fix this all up, and now we can finally head into our next destination. Okay, and this is the Usha Research Center. Yeah, it's got the, uh, the Mount Rikuroa music. Actually, no, that was the uh, Snowdrift Cave music. Sorry. Um, the one that Noah was in, of course, when we first found her. I like this theme, actually. You really don't hear it a lot in this game, so it's pretty cool that it's here. It's not for very long, though. It's kind of just for this little opening area, so... Um, you do get to hear it for at least a little bit, though. Looks like we've got some sort of pipe here. Doctor! Dr. Usha! Is Dr. Usha there? Who is it? It's me, Noah! I came to see you, Doctor! <laughs> Noah? I don't know any Noah! We're on a journey to wipe the mist from the face of the Earth. We came seeking knowledge, Dr. Usha. Please, let us in. Well... You may just be clever, Seru. You say you want to destroy the mist. If you're telling the truth, you must know the password from someone in Seoul. Well, let me hear the password. Alright, and of course, this is where we're gonna put in what we heard. If you don't remember, X, X, triangle, circle, square. That's it! So you are the heroes! You're finally here! Just wait a moment. I'll send down the elevator, so wait a moment. Oh, Alright, awesome. That will take us up to Dr. Usha. Indeed it will, so let's climb in the elevator and check this place out. Okay, and here we are. This is Dr. Usha's theme. Remember, we heard it whenever he uh, talked to us before in Seoul through his little hologram. Uh, first things first, make sure to head up to the top right. There's a healing berry in the chest. Those are pretty good items, so you want to pick those up whenever you see them. And now, up here, we've got the item guy. Remember I mentioned when we were back in Seoul that we would be buying some items? Well, this is where we're going to buy it from. Uh, this guy actually has some very rare stuff, actually. Um, we can check it out. You can see there's an ivory book here. Remember, this is what um, helps your magic accrual, as you can see at the bottom. We've got two already, so we're going to just go ahead and buy one. I don't know why you'd want to buy more than that. It seems kind of pointless. Um, he also sells these bronze books, increased rate of acquiring items after battle. So there you go. Um... This is Bad Luck Bell's an accessory that will increase encounter rate. And he also sells healing berries, which I'm going to stock up on. I believe this is the first store that actually sells healing berries. I think you could get them from the Muscle Dome, but um, otherwise you can get them from here as well with regular money. So there you go. Um, we don't really need the Phoenixes, the Medicines. I don't know. We'll buy a few of those, I guess. And we can also probably stand to buy some magic fruits for some magic recovery. We'll just bump up to 10. And there we go. We've also got quite a bit of points on our point card now, so that's definitely cool. So, nope, we're good to go. And that is also, it's really cool that you can actually buy the Aubrey book there, because now we've got three, so we can just place one on all our characters and not have to worry about switching them around in between battles, you know. So, that's definitely a pretty cool thing to get. Um, okay, so this lady right here is Mrs. Usha. Hello, you're the first stranger I've seen in ten years. I'm so happy. Nice to meet you all. The doctor awaits you in the laboratory up there. Go pay him a visit right away. Yep, uh, definitely will do. We gotta check out the place a little bit first, though, of course. I um, you know what? Actually, I think... Um, what does this person do? I forgot. Oh, yeah, you can actually get fully healed here, so you definitely want to take advantage of that. Um, that You know, that's free and everything, so you obviously want to do that whenever you need it. Okay, and now um, once we are in this place, we can check out the dresser that's up here by the stairs in order to find a magic fruit. Okay, but you know what? I think I'm actually going to leave off right here. We've made it up to the second floor of the Usha Research Center, and I think we're going to save exploring it for the next part. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.